Gerald Henderson, I got to know when he was in Charlotte, mm -hmm. some too. Uh, that incident, when he broke your nose, is one of the most infamous in Duke UNC history. So as you look back on that now, well, to me, let's let's first go here. Just describe the play as you yeah. saw it. We had a pretty good lead going late, and I was fouled, went to the free throw line. And so I'm not sure I made the first one, whatever, but m missed the second one. Um, came off funny off the rim. I was able to get my own rebound. I gathered, pump faked, and went up and was hammered. I went on the ground, I had no clue what happened. And then I reached for my nose and realized I'm bloody. Somebody just hit me in my nose. I didn't really know if it was a cheap shot or not. My first instinct was to try to go after somebody. And I think Dewey Burke and then the ref got in there. And so I was bleeding, so I went back to the locker room. And, you know, at the time my nose wasn't, it wasn't hurting. I didn't realize how bad it was until they told me I broke my nose and there was a ton of blood. But when I watched the replay, I thought it was a cheap shot. And Gerald's a great guy, I'm over it, but that was a cheap shot. And it's hard to deny that. And from his aspect, he probably took a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of criticism from, you know, his peers and, you know, Carolina fans, which at the time I loved and I thought he should have got. For me, it just fueled me even more. And I, you know, I had this vendetta where I, I was going to get Gerald at some point, NBA, whatever, next time I saw him, but never really panned out. But we were way past that, and Gerald's a great dude, and we, you know, kind of laugh about it now because he's, you know, always telling me about, you know, how many people are mentioning it to him, and it seems like everyone's always coming up to me. We talk about it, but, uh, no, nah, I mean, yeah, it was a big play.